Let's get down to business now with Ari Rabinovich, who joins us from the City News Business Center. Hey, Ari. Cynthia. Okay, so Apple unveiled its new foray into AI, which we've discussed, and they're already getting some sharp criticism. Yeah, absolutely. So today we get to talk about some of the response. There was actually a good response on Wall Street on with the stock actually hitting a record today, Sin. But we actually got some harsh words from an open critic, Elon Musk, the head of Tesla, X, and some other companies. Well, he's been openly critical of OpenAI in the past, and we're talking about that in relation to Apple because at the invest at the developers conference, they announced that there will be a new ChatGPT feature to integrated directly into the iPhone through Siri after a new deal with OpenAI as part of the AI strategy or what Apple is calling Apple intelligence. Now, Musk, who has been open of this against this in the past says that in a post on X that this chat GPT feature poses a big risk for the security of user data. He added that if it actually happens later this year that iPhones and other Apple devices will actually be banned at his company. So that'll be interesting to see <laughs> Cynthia and it may be a big hit for Apple's sales if people catch on to this uh, warning from Elon Musk that user data may be at risk if uh, more of these AI features are rolled out or some of these Apple devices. So it'll be interesting to see how things play out. Definitely, definitely. Now let's turn to Boeing. Its woes continue. As the company battles a safety crisis, sales are plummeting, Ari. Yeah, I couldn't believe these numbers when I saw them myself, Cynthia. But yeah, Boeing's numbers for May are in. And it looks like they came up short of expectations and even their own as they're dealing with, well, a lot of uh, bumps in the road, shall we call it. Boeing's definitely had a rough year so far. The latest numbers aren't helping with the jet maker delivering only 24 new planes to customers in May. To put that in perspective, Boeing's rival, Airbus, well, they delivered more than double that amount in the same period. Now, in addition, the number of new gross orders for planes last month, just four, just four planes were ordered. So things are really descending for the company, if you will, as it deals with part shortages, scrutiny by China's regulators, in addition to the handful of investigations into the U.S. stemming from that January incident when a door plug blew off a jet midair and many other safety incidents ever since. And, and it actually thinks it's going to lose $8 billion by the wow. midpoint of this year. So investors are not happy. No, I'm sure they're not. Okay, General Motors. This is interesting. It's authorized a new share buyback mm -hmm. as EV profits spike. Yeah, it seems to be bucking the trend too, Cynthia, compared to other automakers. So General Motors is, is kind of seeing the uh, the trend that people aren't buying as many electric vehicles. They are trimming their sales forecast for EVs, but they're also seeing better profits from that sector. In fact, they expect it to be operating profit by the midpoint of the year, and now General Motors is sharing the profits by announcing a $6 billion share buyback program, returning some of these EV profits and gas powered, for that matter, back to investors. And it's good news for electric vehicle sales overall. Maybe that means some prices will come down, too, for people like us. <laughs> Definitely. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Absolutely. All right. Ari, always great to talk to you. Thank you so very much. You as well, Cynthia.